Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today my mother is with us. Say hi mom. So a lot of you guys love when I do videos with my mom and with everything going on, I came home. So I've been home for about, what, a month now? Yes, almost a month. I've been home for almost a month, so I thought that it's about time to do a video with my mom. Today I'm gonna be doing her makeup and I asked you guys some questions for me and my mom and some topics to talk about while I do her makeup today. So we'll just talk a little you know the shabam, but make sure to follow me on Instagram, Kalani Hilker, and you can say yours too, Kira Gerard. And make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, turn on my post notifications so you know when I post a video. And yeah, let's get started. I love I get to wear makeup for the first time in like six weeks. Yeah, you haven't put makeup on in forever. I don't wear makeup and I only wash my hair like once a week. <laughs> yeah, because you have so much hair. So luckily she already has lashes and eyebrows, which makes my life so much easier because I have less to do. <laughs> What's three things you hate that I do? Oh my god, she's such a mess. I'm a, I don't think I'm that messy. You didn't bring your beauty blender. We'll just use mine. Such a mess. And she doesn't clean up. I mean, if she would turn this around, you would see that she left out. She partially cleans. So she made her celery oh, juice this morning. It. No, I cleaned. I left one thing out. You can chill. Every day, just so you all know, every day. I left my foundation upstairs, so I'll be right back. What else? Let's see, she procrastinates till the very last minute. You literally have to tell her 500 times to do one thing. And on the 501, it gets done. Oh, she gets really, really annoyed easy. So like, she loves, 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 loves jets, and then she's like, get away from me. No, that does not happen ever. Okay, I'm gonna do your foundation first. Do you think you have the same color as me? No, how are you that dark? 6.5, so I have a nap, it's a little bad. Maybe it's really white, you look really white. That color does not match you. Do you have any cute stories of me as a baby? You always tell the hamburger one. I know, because that's the only one I like. Oh my god, Was I not one that time, interesting? All she did was dance. Like, literally, we would go grocery shopping and she would just dance through the aisles everywhere. Really? I feel like I still oh, do you that did now, something like, in the medicine aisle one time that was really embarrassing. What did I do? Oh my god. You, well, you gotta turn your face towards me. Well, you just foundationed my eyelashes. <laughs> <laughs> she called hamburger hackamer. She would only eat pancakes. Can you not put breath. your head up? Like, I can't even see what I'm doing. Let's see? <laughs> What's your favorite color? That's a good question. I used to like purple. Now I think I like pink. What kind of pink? Hot pink. What? That's disgusting. Why? What color do you like? Did you see those ugly ass Nikes you bought? No, they're so cute. I love them. What sports did you find interesting? God, I love scary. Well, yeah, you have concealer. I think you put on makeup backwards. No, I don't. Mm -hmm. How? There's no special way to put on makeup. And I'm way better at makeup than you are. You can't say otherwise. Well, you should be. Why should I be? You wear it every day. So? Since you were 12. No, actually, since you were like five. Five? Not every day since you were five, but every day since you were 10. 10? What was I doing at 10? You were still dancing. This doesn't mean I wore makeup every day. 11 then. 12 or 13. Like whenever I started doing dance moms. What sports did you play growing up? Or did you dance or anything? Which I know the question, but the answer was. I did not dance. I only played, well, I played all sports, but primarily I played softball. You gotta keep your head normal. I can't get into your eyelids. Did you like softball? I did like softball. Did you wanna do it in like college or anything? No. You just kinda liked it for? It wasn't that fun. It's called baking. Yes. You know what it is. Why do you use the same thing for everything? 
You use a beauty blender and then you wash the mirror. I think I just got that beauty blender. What's your daily routine like whenever I'm not here? Well, my daily routine doesn't change whether she's here or not. Well, it has to change a little bit because Jet. No, David's, I David's changes. Because if I'm going to go work out in the morning, that means he can't go to work until I get back. But when you're here, he can go to work because you're here. And he just leaves Jet with you. True. So mine does not change. Uh -uh. Well, mine changes tremendously because when I'm here, I'm lazy. And when I'm in my apartment, I'm less lazy. I told you. Like, but I also barely have a room here. So it's like my clothes being everywhere and everything. Like, I you don't have, have a closet. Room. Mom, with what room? The closet is filled with old stuff. Literally, you can't even walk into the closet. I made you a spot for your stuff. No, you did not. She's a liar. She's a liar. I'll show you all. No. You did not make me a spot for my clothes. Did you ever tell me that? Mm hmm No, you didn't. You're literally lying. I need to put, we should do a lie detector test. Okay. You would lose. You're a liar. She asked me to do her laundry when she came back home. I would be, if my mom, I'd be so happy. I hate to. This girl wears like five outfits a day. No <laughs> that's one's doing that's, her Yeah, laundry. that's true. I do wear five outfits a day. How have you did, adapted as a mom with me moving away? Are you sad? Or do you she hasn't really been you? gone that often, to be honest. I know. <laughs> <laughs> she left, and then it was, it was um, holidays, and then it was Corona. Yeah, I've been here a lot. And I think she's been I here feel like I've, percent of the time. Yeah, I seriously think I've been here almost just as much as I've lived in LA, so I feel like things haven't been that different, but is it weird not having me home, like, whenever? It was at first. No, not really. And yeah. she was always gone anyways beforehand. Yeah, I feel like I've been gone a lot just the past like five years, so. Why are we baking again? Because I'm gonna make you snatched queen. My favorite memory from Dance Moms, I say my 16th birthday, just because I feel like that's like a memorable thing, you know? You have such a great eye eyelid, mother. I have a good eyelid too, so thanks. Do you understand dance or do you, do you just kind of like support? Like, do you understand anything about it or? Sort of understand. What do you like sort of understand? I understand who looks good and who doesn't. You just I know understand the feet. 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 I understand feet. I understand transitions. I understand turns. I feel like you've just watched enough dance, you can tell like if somebody's like good or if they're bad. Or like if somebody's better, no? Yep. My mom used to rhinestone my costumes growing up. I don't know if anybody knew that. And my like, group dances. We also used to clean my dance studio growing up too. I don't think a lot of people knew that. On Sundays, we'd have to go clean the dance studio so I could dance. And now here we are. She did. Somebody asked what your age difference is. Well, you had me at 19, right? 19 years. Gosh, could you imagine me with a child right now? God, Lord help the child, <laughs> Jesus. No way. I don't know how you had me at my age. I'm so not have a child. Do you, do you miss me dancing? I do miss her dancing. Like competition dancing? Not competition, that was awful. What, what a part of dancing do you miss? Just like solos. That was competitions. Maybe like just don't not at a competition that have to sit up for hours. That'd be nice. But I feel like I don't know. I feel like I don't want to do competitions anymore. But I do miss like being on stage. That's like one thing that I do miss a ton. Like I miss like going out and performing, but I don't miss competitions per se. But when I was like good at dance, like when did you know? Like how old was I? And how did you know like I was gonna like do dance for like ever? I feel like I knew that you were gonna do dance forever because you would dance everywhere all the time nonstop. However, I never knew that you were really good until like people started telling me you were good. Like you didn't really pay attention enough? Nope. And then people started to be like, oh my gosh, it's actually really good. And then you're like, oh! I wasn't even 21, I think. Really? That's crazy. So I was good when I was like four? Two. Two? 
Uh, yeah, when you were like two, people would be like, oh my God, she's so good. And then by the time you were like four, that's when you were already like doing really I remember being invited to dance with like seven year olds. I remember whenever I was like little, didn't I get like a note and I didn't show you the note or something? You got a note inviting you to this like special team. And everybody was like, oh my God, she got a note and she was like four. And she brought it home and I saw it, but it was like not a big deal to me because I didn't know what the heck it meant. And then I go to dance. And just, you know, this is like, when people ask, is dance mom's true? Yes, it is true. People just want to lie and dance say moms are psychotic. Because when Kamani was four, this really happened. And I show up at recital and nobody will talk to me. And I didn't understand why. Well, they wouldn't talk to me because she got invited on this special team. So, yes, dance moms are psycho. They just don't show it like we did. Dance moms are psycho, everybody. They just like to hide it. Do you want to put your own mascara on? Because I don't want to poke your eyeball out because that would happen. We use the cheap stuff. It's the best. Look at how good my eyelashes look. So don't be fooled. With look at all the lashes you pulled out of my eyes. It's quarantine. You gotta see that shit. Well, you hate lipstick. You actually might like this. They're tan. I know. <laughs> They're literally tan. I always put mascara on them though because that's just why I put this on. I feel like you're gonna like it. Because it's not super colorful. I have actually I have a Kim K in here. It's so funny because all the Mojave colors always make me look peach. All right, guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed a little mom and daughter time here in quarantine. Um, we love you. Thanks for watching. Bye.